The open sea can be a strange place, and for that reason, seafarers have many superstitions. Some of these date back centuries. Here are 10 of those superstitions. Number one, no redheads. There are many cultures that believed redheads were unlucky. It was believed that due to their fiery personalities, they would bring misfortune. Therefore, they were not allowed on board the ship. Number two, no women allowed. It was believed that having a woman on board a ship would make the seas angry. This would result in dangerous voyages. Number three. Always board a ship or boat with your right foot first. It was and still is believed that your left foot brings bad luck for the journey ahead. Therefore, you must always step onto a boat with your right foot first if you wish to have good luck on your journey. Number four. Never kill an albatross. Killing a seabird was considered bad luck as it was believed they carried the souls of dead sailors. It was also believed that it was bad luck for the ship if the bird died on board. It was, however, good luck to see one. Number 5. Red sky, know the rhyme. As the saying goes, red sky at night, sailors delight. Red sky in the morning, sailors take warning. Red sunsets were believed to indicate a beautiful day to come. A red sunrise, however, indicated bad weather to come. Number six, beware sharks. There are many people who see sharks as a bad omen, and sailors were no different. If a shark was spotted following a ship, it was a sign of an inevitable death. Number seven, celebrate dolphins. The opposite was believed of dolphins, however. Dolphins following the ship were a sign of good luck. And here's some more dolphins to look at because dolphins are so adorable. Number eight always salt your nets. The blessing of sprinkling fishing nets with salt at the beginning of the season was believed to bring good luck and plenty of fish. Number nine, cats are good luck. Cats on ships ensured any rats sneaking aboard did not last long, which kept diseases down and cargo safe. Therefore, cats were seen as very good luck to have on board a ship because they were very beneficial. Number 10. It is bad luck to rename a ship. As promised in my last video, I would go more into the ritual behind renaming a ship if it must be done. The purging and renaming ceremonies were important because without them, the ship would only find misfortune. As the legend goes, every ship has its name recorded in the ledger of the deep. This means every name is known by the sea god Poseidon, or as he is called in Roman mythology, Neptune. In order to change a ship's name, you must first remove the name from the ledger of the deep and the sea god's memory. In order to perform a purging ceremony, the owner of the ship must first cleanse the ship of its former name, meaning all traces of the ship's former name must be removed from the ship. This also includes any logs or records that may contain the ship's former name on it. After that, the purging ceremony may take place. The purging ceremony consists of writing the old ship's name on a metal tag with water-soluble ink and two bottles of champagne. A special verse is recited to the ruler of the seas, then the tag with the old ship's name is dropped into the water. 
After that, another verse is cited, and at least half of the first bottle of champagne is poured east to west into the water. After the purging ceremony has been completed, the renaming ceremony can take place. This will require the second bottle of champagne and calling upon the gods of the sea once more. For a complete description of their ceremonies, I will leave a link in the description below. And those are just 10 seafaring superstitions, but there are many more from all around the world. If you would like me to make a part 2 to this video, leave a comment below and let me know, and I will be happy to do so. That concludes this week's Mysteries and Legends of the High Seas. Stay tuned because I will be posting new videos every Saturday night. 